Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, in this video, I just kind of want to share something that helps me with my mental health. And I just did it actually right now. Um, so, I got this book. at Not book, it's like a journal. I got it in a Aldi. If you guys know where that, that's like a grocery store I go to all the time. And it... It, it looks like this and it says live in the moment and it's like very like yeah i guess like you could say cringy or whatever but i think a lot of people and i do this a lot worry or stress over the future or the past or both all that kind of stuff so for me i realized that sometimes i need to like you know be in the present and one way i learned to do that is through journaling and you don't need to have this you know journal to journal or nothing because i used to do it just in regular journals and i have a ton of different journals for different things but the reason i like this one is it kind of like sets like the questions that would, would would put me into um a calmer state or like just present state so it kind of like goes through this um so it kind of asks the date today's mood uh thoughts and feelings today's affirmation self-care activities daily gratitude what went well today something i learned and tomorrow i plan to kind of thing um and i guess tomorrow i plan to is kind of it's not super futuristic and i think like it's fine like um but I prefer like all of this kind of stuff and it really like sometimes it will get me more aware like sometimes I'm not sorry readjust. sometimes I'm not aware of my current um state or mood or whatever and this kind of like questions um puts me in a more aware state of how I'm feeling or what's going on or all this you know all these things so i thought i would share it with you guys and just you know i always put different things sometimes i leave some of them blank because uh for example something i learned i don't it's like sometimes i didn't learn anything you know but what i do is try to find like anything i might have like just experienced or was new if not, sometimes I go and like Google quotes or like, or I'll open a book that I know has a lot of interesting information and will read at least something, find something like highlight it and put it in so that it, at least like, it's like, I didn't learn anything, but now I did. So it kind of puts me, you know, into like a better um, mood. It's kind of like meditation in a way for me because I love to write things down, um, whether I am happy or sad or whatever. Sometimes it could be, um, I like writing everything down, reminders, I like writing down my feelings, I like writing down uh, my to-do lists, I like writing down information I've learned through books, um, so I have definitely, you know, do all that kind of stuff, but yeah, I just wanted to share this journal with you guys, <clears throat> it helps me to be less stressed, and, or like when I'm stressed, sometimes I would do it in the evenings, Sometimes I'll do it in the mornings. It's harder to do in the mornings because, like, I haven't learned anything yet, you know? I like to do this in the evening or, like, throughout the day. So, that's something I do. Um, but, yeah, I think it's important to fill that kind of stuff out. Especially during my weight loss journey. I think it is important to do something like that because I've struggled with emotional eating binge eating, addictive eating, like all of that to numb my feelings. So instead of doing that, writing it down has definitely changed, I think, in my perspective because I could look back and be like, okay, I felt this way a certain way. Like I wrote down my weight loss. Um, Here, let me guys show you. Well, maybe I'll do that a separate video on that, but I wrote down my weight loss journey. Like, because I didn't want to make videos at that time, I wrote down all of my, like, um, when I would, like, weigh in and how I felt. And it even says here, like, I it says, I don't know how it will go. Um, 
but I want to do this and not have other approval. Like I want to document my experience. experience. So I, wa I wanted to not say anything to anyone because I had so much, like people before would like always criticize what I did. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to do what I'm doing and see how it goes. And the first way in was August 10th, 2021, which is, that actually just shocked me because that is exactly a year ago. That's, today's August 9th, 2022. That's crazy. Um, but I, I need to make a whole video of this. I'm going to just quickly mention it, but here it says I weigh 175, um, and like it i was just saying how i felt about it um how hard it was for me day two day three i was day four and here it says like i'm not hungry however i get bored so i feel tempted but i know it's boredom eating plenty of water helps <clears throat> um very interesting sorry if i'm like i i didn't yeah i, I look back on this a lot it's just i haven't shared it but all these feelings, like when I would go back, I realized, wow, it, it got easier. This It was hard in the beginning, but I could share this with people that it was hard in the beginning. Now it's easier. And it kind of like always like motivates me because it's like I, could, I still get tempted. I still get boredom eating habits. But it's like <clears throat> I don't I'm so used to this habit now that I've created that I'm not as tempted. Then look, it says July 24th, 2022. That's not that long ago. <clears throat> Oh, that's actually really recently. That's like the lowest number I hit. And it's been almost a year. So it's 139, almost 140 pounds. So, and then August 2nd, yeah. But my weight is about 140. Anyways, here in this journal, it, it helped me, it guided, like, guided me in my progress. And like, when I felt like I didn't have progress, because it was so long, it took so long. Cause, and sometimes I'd be just stable. I would go back and I'd be like, Oh my gosh, I was like 175. I don't remember that. So like, I definitely have progress and that would motivate me to keep going. And I would look at how I felt versus how I felt now. And I would feel better and I would document all that. And now I can share it with you. And I will share my whole weight loss journey journal with you in a separate video, a bit more details. But this is just showing how like, with mental health, health for me, it helps and um, all that kind of stuff. I have journals of like, this is like, I call it wisdom journal. I don't know why. It just has a lot of stuff for, um, like meditation and just noticing being in the present insights. Uh, oh, when I would, uh, binge eat a lot, actually, I, that's something I struggle with. I had these questions, um, so somebody shared it with me, insights question by this, like, uh, I don't know who it is, but anyways, uh, and it has nine, oh, no, it has 16 questions, I guess, dang, but, like, question one is, what is the next best step, kind of step for me in this situation, exactly as it is, um, step two is, like, what am I feeling right now, where do I feel the sensations that I'm feeling in my body, Question three, what questions do I have for myself right now? Question four, what do I receive from the experience or interaction? And then it's like all this, like five. Number six is I, I wonder, dot, dot, dot. And I would fill it out to kind of be more present. And it helped me with binge eating since like when I would do that, I would feel the most awful and I would feel like the most hate towards myself and just be like messed up. So like that kind of stuff helped me um a lot so i don't know it was kind of like a constant battle with myself but what i was doing to lose weight felt very easy and natural it just i was like i want results fast you know you always want results fast so i wasn't sure if it was gonna work i had a lot of questions i had a lot of doubts that's kind of what it was but yeah anyways i'll make a whole video about this journal because that's crazy how that was like a year ago that's literally a year ago i was like 175 pounds felt really bad felt couldn't you know for my clothes all that kind of stuff but i want to make more videos about that as well as binge eating and emotional eating and how i got out of it because i thought like it was just like there's nothing i can do to fix it honestly it was 
pretty dark for me at the time. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video.